Okay, so for number 11 here, we're starting to get into problems that are applications of logs and exponents. So for this one here, we're given that we have a, we have in sodium 24. Now, the 24 is not used in this problem because that's an isotope name. The main thing is we're gonna look for, it says this half-life of sodium 24 is 15 hours. So refer to the, uh, the actual sample test for the actual wording and instructions here. I just kind of did some shorthand. Uh, so it says we're given the half-life of the sodium 24 isotope. So it says how much of a seven gram sample remains basically after 11 hours. These kind of problems with half-life, there's a special formula that you wanna know for this one. And the formula is gonna be this one here. To get the K value that we use in our growth formula, the formula is negative natural log of two over the half-life, okay? So that is the first thing we're gonna do is put in 15 in there. So we have negative natural log of two over 15 the half-life. Now if we put that into a calculator, let's go ahead and put that down here. So if I put that in a calculator, uh, what I get is uh, for this one, negative 0 0.0462. It should be negative because half-life means that our amount is actually decaying, it's going down. So top of the K problem, that tells you it's decay because your K value is negative. Now in the test, you're only required to round this to four places. So the K value on the test, four places is enough. So I'm gonna use four places here in this case. Now, we wanna use the growth formula. The growth formula right here is this one. It's the one that was presented to us in the notes. Okay, so I have A kind of stands for an amount. The A of zero is the initial amount we're starting with. So it says how much of a seven gram sample remains after 11 hours. That tells us that there's gonna be a seven in there because that's how much you're originally starting with. I have my K value, which is negative 0 0.0462. The time is going to be 11 hours. So you put that inside there. So anywhere you see a T, we're putting in 11. So writing as a function, it's actually gonna look like this. So A with 11 put in there, we have 11 over here. Uh, that right there is gonna be the setup for it. Now we just need to put this into a calculator. Now when you do that, you wanna start with the exponent first. So let's go ahead and multiply the negative 0 0.0462 times 11. And so we'll do that first. And when you do that, you're gonna get negative 0 0.5082. And the last thing you do is you wanna do the E caret key. So you'll find that above your natural log key on your calculator. You wanna go ahead and put E raised to this decimal, and then you'll multiply that by seven. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the, the final answer on that. It's gonna be 4.21. Now this particular question didn't tell us what to round to. My default is I always end up rounding to two decimal places. If it doesn't say anything, I always round to two places. But again, because it didn't say that in the question itself, uh, you can round to, to really any digit. Uh, sometimes the question will tell you around to the nearest whole number, so you want to go ahead and, and take a look at that also, be, be on the watch for that. Um, but this one, it didn't specify, so we can just leave our answer in that form.